Morning everybody, myself and Neil back at it again this morning. We're just in the area now where, uh, where the guys left the Mungain Pride last night. Tracks are heading in a southerly direction, so we're going to follow up on them there. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get lucky and see what else is out there uh, for the rest of the morning. Just looped in and around the area um, where we saw the line tracks initially. Um, they seem to be coming back and forth from a waterhole uh, not too far away from us here, coming along this hipper trail. Um, and uh, back and forth from the waterhole typically means there's something in there, they're potentially on a kill, lots of hyena tracks as well. So let's carry on along here and then uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get them on a kill there. Nice. Uh, so we're very fortunate in this part of the world that these lions have so much interaction with people and uh, trackers almost every day tracking them down and viewing them. So that's why you see they didn't react too much when we, uh, when we found them. Uh, they just pop their heads up and say, oh, what you guys doing there? And then we'll head back now, uh, hop on the vehicle and then we'll get back in and do some more filming. Cool. So there we go, that was fun. Um, nice to find them uh, on foot like that that's always always good for well, certainly uh, makes my day um, so yeah find them like we said uh, potentially on a kill and they are there's uh, remains of a big kudu bull um, that they're just laying up now nice full 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 belly so that's a good sign that they're gonna be um, or hopefully stick around for the next couple of days typically lions will uh, after a big meal like that will settle down so at least we'll hopefully uh, get to view them for the next couple of days and uh, while they finish this off at least Ottawa male doesn't seem to be with them at the moment. We did. There were definitely tracks of him in the area. Um, I guess somehow he must have just missed them. Um, so yeah, I'm sure they'll link up at some point. So just like um, just like the leopards, the lions will also clean themselves um, before having a nap. So you can see a bit of grooming going on, uh, a bit of yawning, usually an indication that they're going to go fast asleep now. We're going to leave the, these lions here for now. Um, they seem to be settling down and they'll certainly be here this afternoon, so we'll come and catch up with them a bit later. All right, so thanks Ali again um, for finding us the leopards. Uh, she's just found us boldest youngsters, Tisela and Shambela. Not too far actually from where, where Kev left them last night. Um, full bellies last night and then now this morning perfectly they've got a little mongoose kill as well. Um, just to, to carry on. So there you can see the young male here, Shambela, playing with the, playing with a carcass. Um, often they'll do that as a way to kind of learn, develop their skills, to practice 
climbing up trees, uh, hauling things up into trees and down again. Um, yeah, apart from it being a bit of fun as well, uh, it's very important developmental things for them. Um, so he's just finished off the little bit of, bits of scraps off, off from his side of the kill and she's obviously finished off hers but uh, there's going to be a bit of swapping of locations here where she's, she's going to go back to where he had his piece and he's going to go to where she had hers um, and just kind of see if there's any little scraps or anything left lying around. What she's doing at the moment now is he's just coming up towards her and she's going to stalk him. Just some fun between brother and sister. <laughs> so he's heading over to where she had her piece of the kill. Um, I think uh, we'll follow him because it's a little bit more open. And so we're back at where she was um, a little bit earlier with, with, the, with that mongoose. And he's having a good sniff around, seeing if there's any little shards of bone left or anything worth eating. Very cool. He's uh, heading back into the direction of uh, Fig Dam where Kev had him yesterday. Um, might just wait for his sister to catch up and then head towards the water. So it seems like the crows have moved into the area, possibly because of the smell of that, uh, that mongoose uh, and just giving him a little bit of trouble. Alright folks, I think that's where we're going to leave it for the morning. Um, yeah, good to catch up with uh, what, what happened last night with the Mangan Pride um, on that little, on that big kulu kill. Shambela and Tisela, little mongoose this morning. Um, so all in all a good, a good uh, start to the day and uh, hopefully this afternoon uh, we can find some more things and have a little bit more fun. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, 
Just popped into where we left Clambella and uh, Tisella this morning and luckily just found him coming out uh, towards Fig Dam to go and have a drink. Making the strangest noises. <laughs> the whole herd of wildebeest has noticed them. They have started alarming as well. <laughs> I've never heard that kind of sound coming out of a leopard. Wildebeest are clearly trying to chase him off there. They're all advancing, came together and pushed towards him. He's a bit nervous now, so he's trying to clamber up that tree. <laughs> all got a little bit too tense for him. <laughs> Kind of interesting to note that uh, you know him and his sister are still hanging out together and still within their mother's territory. Um, usually they they should have moved off by now, but uh, I think there's quite a bit of pressure around at the moment with the, those two young males coming into the southern parts, Tamba and uh, the tortoise pan male, uh, also Nyaleti and Misava uh, on the eastern side and the northern side, and then obviously their dad uh, Ravenscourt is still in the area as well. So. I mean, quite a bit of pressure and I think until um, you know, things calm down or settle down with Tumba and them, I don't think they're, they're too, uh, too excited to carry on uh, and find their own place. I think they're quite comfortable at the moment. Alright folks, I think that's where we're going to leave uh, him for the afternoon. No sign of Tisela unfortunately, um, but light's starting to, starting to fade a bit so we're going to carry on see what else we can get before it goes down and then uh, Definitely join up with the lions and see what they're up to uh, a bit later as well. There's a beautiful African hawk eagle there. They're always cruising around in, in pairs. Uh, they are monogamous. They're certainly to me, uh, <clears throat> probably the prettiest of the birds of prey out here. They love hunting, well they're hunting as a as a cast, so two of them together, um, and they love guinea fowl.
Uh, so we're just back here at uh, the dam with the hippos and this is actually where we uh, originally saw the tracks this morning um, of the lions coming to drink and we tracked them back from here to where they had that kill. Not too much activity, a little bit early uh, in the afternoon still. Um, so what we're going to do from here is kind of head back towards uh, back towards the line, see what they're up to. Uh, but interesting to see how the change from yesterday, um, very few hippos to suddenly uh, quite a lot. And it just shows you just how many hippos there are kind of in the area. And they never, the females never just settle in one place. In one place. <laughs> They, uh, you know, the females will move around depending on the on the resources available in an area, um, but the males, this is where they'll stay. They are the territorial um, of the of the hippos. So we were just we were just heading off, but uh, just seen a couple of elephants making their way towards the dam now. Um, looks like possibly the same male that Dan and Kev uh, filmed yesterday. Let's see, if maybe he'll come for a drink quickly. A little sundowner. All right, folks, the light's fading there, so I think uh, let's carry on towards the lines um, and get them while there's still a bit of a little bit of light left. So we're back at the lions now, um, seems like they haven't really fed too much during the day, um, just a little bit, but there we go, three lionesses back on the kill and uh, you can always see a, always a bit of aggression around a kill. Not too much uh, vulture activity in the area as well. One or two uh, hooded vultures. Uh, could be another reason why the male hasn't found them yet. Um, vultures are usually a pretty good indication that there's something something down there. And, and any lion uh, in the area would certainly be able to pick those up and, and 
make their way around about this time of day. All right, folks, um, light's starting to fade. Uh, I don't think much is going to change. Uh, we're kind of hoping maybe the Ottawa mail would turn up um, by at this point, but it uh, doesn't seem to be the case. So I think we're going to carry on while there's still a little bit of light left, um, see what else is out there, and otherwise uh, we'll head back towards the lodge as well. All right, folks, so, uh, yeah, I think we're going to call it a day now. Um, Dan and Ali and uh, them were following up on some leopard tracks all afternoon. Uh, unfortunately, nothing came of them. We were kind of hoping we were going to bump into uh, whoever it was on the way back home. But uh, we're nearly home now, and that hasn't happened. So uh, I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.